The 1930s in the history of Danish design is a special period because this is where you see very organic sculptural pieces come out uh, from a few designers. Pieces that are um, sort of anticipating the sculptural qualities that you see later in what most people understand as Danish design, the pieces from the 1950s. But actually it's already in the 1930s that you see these same qualities However, in overstuffed furniture, it is the upholstery on these pieces that make them completely modern and relevant today. For me, the wolf chair is a sign of the privilege that we have today in Denmark with such a rich design history. We're able to go back into history and pick out those pieces that sometimes were made by unknown designers, pieces that have that organic form that works so well in today's interiors. And we can just pick it out and use it today without necessarily taking everything that was surrounding it at the time. What generally defines uh, Danish design is of course the high level of craftsmanship. And with these overstuffed pieces, like the little Petro chair, it's, it's of course very difficult to see that. But exactly the back legs become sort of like the red dot in a white room. It's that little thing, that little detail that gives you this great sense of craftsmanship.